Do you guys remember that part in the Fast and Furious where Dom was like, I don't have friends. I got family. That's basically what this race was like. Not only did we race around the local speedway here close to our house, but they also had a kids race. So my six-year-old son and my four-year-old daughter were able to race around the track and they had a really fun time. We'll jump into my race first here. This is the Cat 3-4 race. The, the course, this is the first time we've ever raced at the Speedway. It's just two miles from my house, which is kind of cool. Uh, it was put on by St. Al's cycling team. They did an awesome job. They had chip timing. Um, they had concessions open. So it was kind of a cool family and friends event. The, the course, I was kind of worried that it would just be going in ovals all night around the uh, racetrack, but they actually took us out into this pit lane and there was a few sharper cor corners on, on the pit lane going in and out. Dude, rest in peace, Paul Walker. For this race, I knew I was going to need some knots. There were some hitters here. Shout out to Noah. This kid's like maybe 15. He's a birds rider. They typically ride in the 4-5 race, but he's been jumping into the 3-4 race and doing really well. Also, Lost River Cycling, uh, they're in the orange kits here. They had two or three riders tonight. Um, if you've watched my videos before, you've probably recognized the Bob's kit. That's Wally there. And I actually didn't put on my Bob's kit. I put on my Team Real kit. The biggest reason is, is Typically, these races end up being a Bob's St. Al's breakaway, and I didn't want to have to feel like I couldn't chase anything down that I wanted to because, I mean, it's, yeah, and, and this is St. Al's right here in front of us. These races have been, like I said, a St. Al's, Bob's breakaway, and then the rest of the field's racing for third, and I didn't really want that to happen. I wanted to kind of come down to a field sprint, and so I was willing to chase anything down and even pull the field up with me if I had to. Um, instead of late, letting a breakaway go. And so that's the biggest reason I wanted to be uh, not be affiliated with Bob's for this race. And it was it was fun and it was super hard. And you'll see actually right here, this is a good example. There's a move up the road. To be honest, I didn't know, I didn't recognize who it was. And so I didn't know if it was a threat. This was super early in the race and it probably wasn't a threat, but wanted to uh, be sure to get that chase down. So open up a bottle of NAS. Poured it on a little bit and um, kind of dragged everybody with me. I'll, I'll speed it up here a little bit. And once we had that rider in the view, I kind of let up. Let him dangle. Let's keep it close. I figured if he wanted to put in an effort, we could let him dangle a little bit. So I just yell up to Wally to do that. After a bit, it kind of all comes back together again. And then when it does, someone throws out this counter. And once again, I have to drop a bit of NOS to uh, keep up with it. Probably not absolutely necessary, but I did it. The biggest reason that I like doing these videos is because I learn a lot from my mistakes. And here's a perfect example. No one's up the road. I've already told you guys, my goal is to have this thing come down to a field sprint. And for whatever reason, I mean, this pace was kind of slow, but who cares? I mean, I put out this attack for no reason, went over a thousand watts. Um, quickly turned around and realized that everybody's, I mean, chasing it. This is not going to get away. And even if it did, I don't really want to try to go solo this early in the race or really ever. Um, so anyways, come around the corner here. And um, yeah, I slope way back down, realized that was kind of dumb. I already used three bottles of NOS, Vin Diesel, Paul Walker. They'd be super disappointed in me. And then right here, you see St. Al's, they counter it, right? They're, they're smart racers. They counter it. Luckily, I mean, you got a Bob's Rider, you got Noah, you got this guy in the purple, and you got this guy named Mike. They all chase it down, luckily, so I don't, I don't have to. If not, I mean, that would have potentially been um, threatening. So this move right here, you'll see the pace. It's fairly slow right now. St. Al's, he stands up, puts in a little effort, and Noah... The Birds Rider, and I think that's Brian, Bob's Rider, they get a bit of a gap, right? And you see the other Birds Rider, he kind of sits up. He's not going to chase it. And uh, we come around the corner, and they keep hammering. And for me, that's fairly threatening because, like I said, it has that combination of Bob's and St. Al's. And so we come around this corner here, and you'll see, I'll zoom in right here. You already see they got a fairly decent gap on us already. So for me, that's fairly threatening. I didn't go with it. I'll speed it up here. So yeah, like I said, didn't go with it. So I get on the front. You got a Bob's guy up front. I think that's Micah. And he's not going to chase it down. And so I take up the chase. 
And if you look in the rear cam, you got a Bob's right out of this mica sitting on my wheel. He's going to get a free ride up. After I pull for a few laps, I kind of peel off to the right. And luckily, the uh, Lost River Cycling in the Orange, he takes a huge move and kind of drags the rest of the field up to that break. And a bit later, it all comes back together. It's just a few laps later, you see Wally here on the right, and then the St. Al's guy right there. They're on the front because they both have teammates up in the break. And so once again, break open another can of NOS, and I end up chasing this back down. I mean, you can see him up there just barely in the uh, screen. The angle on my GoPro, I, I made it super view, which opens it up quite a bit. Makes it look like they're pretty far away, but they're actually not too far. I mean, it's still an effort, um, but uh, more than anything, I was willing to do it because, like I said, that was super threatening. Three guys, Bob's and the St. Al's, which, I mean, could have been race over for the field. So I pull up, and usually what I do is I get really close and then kind of back off and then hopefully let someone else kind of just fill in but you can see in my rear view it's it's Micah and I think St. Al's behind him so no one's willing to do it and so I finally just uh just put in that little effort to bridge up the last little bit I really do like racing against the St. Al's team the team here in red in front of me uh they have the numbers but they also have the firepower to do do breakaway moves counter attack they have a couple of guys that can sprint fairly well um, you'll see right here, we bridge up to this uh, small breakaway, and this guy, Chris, in front of me, he throws his finger in the air, letting his teammates behind him know, hey, this is going to be a good time to counterattack. All right, let's jump into the nitty-gritty of the race. This is when things actually get fairly interesting. We'll zoom in right here. That's Chris, St. Al's rider, super snappy, and he just lets out this attack right here. I'm kind of boxed in, end up running over a few cones, uh, trying to get around some folks. Go out of course a little bit around that cone. Don't worry about it. And I'm trying to move up. I'm trying to see if anybody's going to go with that move and don't see a whole lot happening. And Chris is already getting a fairly good gap on us. You look at the front of the race. I mean, no one is willing to chase that down. We're getting down to, I mean, definitely the last third of the race. I'll speed it up here a bit. And finally, people start kind of picking up the pace. But for me, it just wasn't quite fast enough. So I pull up front here and um, realized that uh, we got some birds riders at the front and I lean over and uh, tell them keep it fast keep it fast don't let stay now block let's go grab my wheel and this may have been a mistake I was doing the math and I realized I got to get up to that move I know Chris is strong I've raced against him a few other times and so I knew I had to get up there what I thought would be best is just to allow everybody to come with me. So you see Noah behind me. He's on my wheel and no one's through. I'm trying to keep it super fast. In hindsight, what I should have done is just gone for it solo bridge and seeing if Chris wanted to work together. All right, take a pull. So once again, shout out to Noah. I asked him to take a pull and Bird's Riders, I mean, their coach tells him not to do this. And he's really good at drafting. He's super good, super efficient. He pulls out, and the pace just slows way down. First of all, no one really goes with him. Lance kind of goes up. And I quickly realized that I don't think this is going to work. I mean, the pace still isn't as high as it needs to be. I mean, I'm going 25 and catching up to him. And so I realized that if it's going to come back, I might just need to do this on my own. And so coming in here, Lance is taking a good pull. Um, I mean, he's keeping the pace at 25, but I probably I have to assume that Chris up the road is going faster than that. And so at this point, Lance comes off, and I tell Noah. <laughs> and so Noah takes that as, oh, sweet, I don't have to pull. You do it. And that's when I realized I just got to go for this by myself. So I kind of drop the hammer a bit open up another bottle of NOS, and I'm just going to bridge it. And if someone wants to come around, great. I stand up, push it even harder. And if anybody's going to come with me, I decide I'm going to make it hard for them to do that. And if they are going to come with me, I want them to pull through. And I just don't know if they can. So I look behind me. You got Mike behind me. I yell at him to take a pull. He's 
got too much of a little gap. So I sprint again, either trying to get him off my wheel or get him to pull through. And I'm fairly gassed at this point. I've opened up like four bottles of NOS in a row. And finally, we are right in front of him. And I just tell Mike, hey, just take the last pull. Get him close. So I had raced with Mike before, but I hadn't met him. I met him after the race. I saw him on the start sheet, and I was super stoked. I thought his last name was Kritz or pronou pronounced Kritz. Um, I met him after the race. Apparently, it's Kreitz. But uh, for a crit racer, that's a pretty dope last name. So he does. He puts in that last little effort to uh, to bridge it up. I look in the in the rear cam here, and what do we have? We have two St. Al's riders. And, I mean, at this point, it's like, okay, we caught him. But, I mean, these guys are just going to counter. And so I kind of let off the gas a bit, waiting to see what happens. And what do you know? About a lap or two later... Another St. Al's rider, he counters off of the front. And this guy, he's more of like an endurance type rider, doesn't have a crazy amount of snap. So I go with it, just wanted to keep it close. And kind of, if you look behind, everybody's getting a little bit strung out here. If you look fourth wheel, there's another St. Al's rider, right? So right here, um, Brian, the Bob's rider, he puts in a little effort. The St. Al's rider goes right there, basically double counter or triple counter at this point. At this point, I can't keep all the St. Al's riders straight. I literally look over at Chris and, and say, hey, didn't he just go? And he's like, oh, no, that was me. And so at this point, they're multiplying like bunnies. St. Al's riders just throwing attack after attack. I hate to admit how often this happens. I'm kind of getting lulled to sleep right here during this part of the race. I just put in the attack. My heart rate's at 169. I'm still recovering. My max is like between 175, 177 and um we're coming in we're on third lap right now right and i'm sitting in what like seventh eighth wheel and we're coming around this corner here and i'm thinking okay third lap we still got plenty of time but these laps are fairly fast and if you look right here that's on the left that's the bridge coach he yells go so lance lance is racing for broken spoke but he's a past birds rider and he said sweet coach thanks for the tip so he launches his attack here you got chris right in front of me st al's he sees it, he goes, and right here, he makes a really good move around these uh, folks right here, and I just don't. You got no one in front of me, and for whatever reason, I'm fine just sitting back here. And this is, like I said, second lap. Chris gets on the front. Lance stays close to it. I'm sixth wheel now, fifth wheel, and we're coming into the last lap, and there's already a couple of wheel gaps going on, right? You got a wheel gap between Noah and this guy. And then probably four or five between this guy and Chris and Lance. And so coming into this last lap, I'm freaking out, realizing that I made a huge mistake. Right here, yelling, no, I'm coming in on the inside. I stand up to sprint on this back straight to get around him. So I come around this corner here. I am getting closer to him. I put in one last effort, break open the last can of NOS, but I just needed a little bit more. Come to the start finish. Can't quite catch him. Lance, first place. Chris, second. And I'm still a buster in third. Dude, shout out to Lance. I've never beat him in a race. I think we've raced against each other four or five times. Never beat him. This is a shot that my wife got of the finish. You can kind of see me gaining on Lance and Chris a bit, but just didn't have enough in it. Thanks for my wife for coming. We have three small kids, and she was wrestling them the whole time, but it was fun to have them out there. And here's the podium. Tell us how you feel. Are you nervous? Scared? Happy? Yeah, I can do this. What are you? You kind of nervous? Mm -hmm. I think you're gonna do great. Are you excited? Yeah. What are you excited for? Um, I'm excited. This side for the bike race. As you can tell, no expense was spared on my kids' bikes. Will you turn well, yep. When I say go, then you should break. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you set? Let's go. Go, go, go! Okay, so what's your name? Evie, and I'm four. And you're four. Okay, so when the race started, I noticed that you stuck your tongue out of your mouth. Oh, there it is again. Does that help you ride faster? It does? Yeah. It does? It helps you focus on the ride? Mm-hmm. But I got too tired, and I almost stopped. You almost stopped because you were so tired? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. How tired were you? Like, kind of? I was, like, so tired that I wanted to stop. You wanted to stop? Why didn't you not stop? Because I wanted to win the race. Win the race? Edie, in this race, there were two girls. 
and I I almost got in front of her, but I did, but she got in front of me. No, guess what? Hmm. You won the other, you beat the other girl. So Edie, in this race, there were two girls. And I beat the other girl. You what? I beat the other girl. You beat the other girl? Mm -hmm. Nice, so you got first place out of all the girls. Rocky didn't get first place. Rocky did not, he got like fourth, I think. But out of all the girls, you got first place? Yeah. Nice job, dude, that's awesome. What, tell us about your helmet. It was like kind of wiggling off. It was, your helmet was wiggling off, but what's on top of your helmet? A unicorn. Oh, a unicorn. Do you think the unicorn helmet helped you go faster or slower? Faster. Oh, yeah, of course. The more I pedal, pedal uh -huh. it'll make me go faster. Yeah, and the unicorn, what does the unicorn horn do for you? Is it? it magically this helps me go faster and faster and faster. I love that. So, oh, there's your tongue again. I see it. Your tongue's hanging out. How does the tongue help you? It just like, I just want, I just st stick my tongue out because I want to win. Yeah. Love it. Good job. So when you crossed the finish line, how happy were you that you got first place out of all the girls? I didn't know, but... Wait, when you crossed the finish line, you didn't even know that you got first place out of all the girls? Yeah. And... I loved it. All right. What is your name? Rocky. Rocky. How old are you? Six. Six years old. Okay. This is the same race. Is this the same race as Edie did? Yeah. Okay. So you're in the same race. Yeah. Okay. We're going. They just started the race. No, they started the race like a second, like two seconds ago. Okay. That's true. Okay. So what place are you in right now? First. First place? Right now, what were you thinking? Were you thinking like, oh, dude, I'm going to win this race? I wasn't really thinking anything. Okay. Did and you? Whoa. He passed me. Okay. And he passed me. All right. Those so kids now are I'm third place. Third place. Okay. Those kids are kind of bigger than you, though. Not really. And then now that kid passed me. So then I was in. Now I'm in fourth place. Fourth place. Okay. At this point, did you did you look behind you? Um, no, I didn't look behind me the whole entire race. Why did you, Why did you not look behind you? I wanted to focus on the race and. Focus on the race. I wanted to. I didn't want to really crash. Anymore. Oh, got it. You didn't want to crash. Yeah. Good, dude. All right. So right here, still in fourth place. Yeah. Coming around for the first lap. What were you thinking? Not really anything. Not really anything. You're still just focusing on the race, making yeah. sure you don't crash. Mhm. Okay. Mm here's the start finish line. Lap one is done. Done. Okay. <laughs> And then guess what? This kid right there, he stopped. I know, because he was like, I can't, do I keep going or stop? Keep going or stop? And then he just kept, then he kept going. He kept going? But you yeah. passed him, so now you're in third place. Yeah. Nice. And then, you can. So this is your second lap? Yeah, it's my second lap. And now you're in third because that kid stopped. Mm-hmm. That's a good dude. Guess what? Third place? What? That's on the podium. There's three places on the podium to stand. Mm -hmm. So third place is a good. It's a good result. Mm -hmm. Edie, dude, Edie got first place out of all the girls that showed up. <laughs> well, she didn't. Well, she got like. But what place did she really get? Well, she got first place out of all the girls. Well, what place did she really get? First. As out of the girls. Yeah. But what place did she actually get? First place. Not out of the girls, like out of everyone. Out of everyone? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Right when I was coming around this corner, I was like thinking, I'm going to lose. You're going to lose, but you're not really losing because you're still third place. I mean, I third know. place is a pretty good job. I know. How many kids were in the whole race? Probably maybe like, like the whole finish line. The whole, that whole thing. Oh, yeah, they, like they, all the way to that cone. Yeah, so like maybe like 10 kids or something? Yeah. Nice job, dude. You did a good job. And then, then you circled back around. Yeah. And I was right there, and I was like, woohoo! Yeah, I think got third. Uh, yeah, you got third place. That kid, look, that's the kid that stopped, and he didn't even come around. You did awesome, bud. Was it fun? Mm -hmm. You want to do it again? Yeah. You did? Mm -hmm. Nice. Edie, what was your favorite part? Guys, I can't tell you how fun it was to have the whole family out there watching these guys race, having them watch and support me. Really meant a lot. Thanks again to St. Al's for putting an awesome event on. 
and hope this becomes a reoccurring thing every summer. And I know I keep place? mentioning it. Next nice. race is well, Lodija for reals race, this time. Man. I think I've brought it up like the last three videos thinking that I wouldn't be racing crits uh, this far into or this close to Lodija. But uh, that's in less than two weeks from this going live. And make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks, Rocky. I'm glad you came, dude.